Hey guys, what's up my darling MVPs? How are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shostly Mimi where you get the gist as it they do waiting, as it they hurt. Of course, you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if it snows you do what you lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a far long thing? Kindly post right there, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? As it hurt. Okay, guys, as we all know, today is Messi Lambo's day, right? So, earlier on, Biggie asked the, told the housemate that the storeroom is not open. Actually, Messi guessed right and said, it, it, are you sure it's not my birthday cake? You know, she went to the storeroom with her ba Lamborghini's backside. Choi! Working without her transparent clothes, you know, went there to bring out the cake. She was unveiling the cake, opening the cake, and Pere had G, you know, went to assist her. Oh my, it's how Pere is just going, everything with Pere and Messi is just going so, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, you know, Pere helped the brought the cake to the table, you know, and then as I then Adekunle and Baye were having their pretty sleep, you know, and then Mercy was like, Pere, please, you go and wake them up so that we will toast to my birthday, you know, and then Pere suggested that they he would go and wash some glasses so that they would pour some juice in it, and then they would toast to Mercy's better years ahead. So, later on, they went to wake um, Baye and Adekunle bad boy Dex, and they all stood up, you know, and then they actually poured drinks in their cups and the housemates in their numbers one by one actually wish um messy happy birthday with some kind words um for cross his better words to mercy was like her, that her inclusiveness shows that she she would be a good leader that if she eventually find herself to the top you know that he would definitely vote for her in whatever situation you know regarding to what adequately pinpointed yesterday when they wrote the poem for nigeria you know he said it was only mercy that wrote out something about a certain thing that that was why cross actually said whatever he said now and then um for adequately adequately said may the sweetness in in mercy never goes sour. You see, that's one that line, it is brief, concise, but it's so meaningful. Perez says she's so good, yours, both inside and outside, that she should keep being her. And in sissy words, she said, May God give you great vision and the tenacity to accomplish those vision. And in Gen Z Baddy's voice, she said, Mercy, I wish you long life, more money. You are a sweet person and I am glad I came to All Stars to meet you. And then Mercy in return says she is so glad to have met them that she couldn't have asked for anything better than this top sis. Mm. So afterwards, she proceeded in making a wish in her mind, of course. And then before she cuts her cake, I think it was a nice time with the housemates, you know. And then guys... It is about that time. Innocent tax is happening live and direct in Biggie's Avenue. <laughs> yeah, it is actually innocent tax. As you can see, Chizzy is still rooting for um, Cross to win. As he wrote and said Cross, you know, with a picture and said Cross. So the head of house went to the diary room to pick up a brief and, you know, and actually relate to the housemate that it is innocent o'clock, you know. And this is one tax the housemates have been looking forward to, you know, on who will grab that car you know so yeah after reading the brief biggie took like some hours before he called the housemate to the arena you know they saw the car they were like wow who go carry this car oh, the car is white cc is just watching that her love for white colors and all of that you know and they asked biggie to take a look at the car they went around the cars you know admiring the car you know and then Biggie just, you know, explained that IVM Ikenga, what it is to them, you know. <laughs> the name of the car is actually sweet, IVM Ikenga. And then the housemate starts and Biggie shows them what the tax is. Believe you me, guys, I think this season's um, innocent tax is quite easy. In, in fact, easy peasy in Biggie's voice because he showed them first. The first stuff he said they should take an instant and draw the rope. They have to drag that down, you know, and they did it. And Biggie said, okay, that is it, right? They should go back to the house. Then secondly, they came out again and he placed a ping pong ball on top of them. You know, you have to drag it out, drag the ping pong, as you make sure that the ball will not fall off, you know. And he said, it is three rounds. The first round, 
any housemate that is last would have to go. Then the second one, they would have to do another one. Then the first round, the first people to leave was Baye and Adekunle. Yes, they were the last to actually bring their this thing out from the line. And then Baye and Adekunle was qualified. As I'm making this video currently with you guys, Mercy um, Cross is actually out. So it is just leaving Pere and Sisi for the third round. So tell me. Who is going to win this between Pere and CC? Hmm. Is it going to be Pere? At least Pere said he sold his car the other time. Maybe is this an opportunity for him to get another car as replacement? And CC, on the other hand, said she loved white car. Is it a time for CC to have a new white brand car in her parking lot? Anyways, we'll see who that winner will be. For now, let's go back to Justin. So um cross this picture of cross where he was actually staring at space in his hoh room you know thinking this picture actually created many people came for cross they were like oh cross cross really wish he can actually buy votes the way he bought himself immunity to the finale you know people were saying a whole lot that cross is really thinking that oh how will i get this money oh how will i get this money so that i will build my mom a church and like play like joke <laughs> that's why all the jokes people throw to make this picture you know be very funny you know it may seem as though um cross handler actually utilized the situation to post this on his instagram and said cross the bus our boy is already thinking of how many blocks and cement will be sufficient to build a church for his mom. Now, wait, things don't cost that 120 n will solve everything. The only way to hand over that money to him is by voting. Please continue voting for Cross. Kindly check pin post for voting direction. Now, guys, the time is it's almost close for them to close the voting line. So, go right now and do the last minute vote for your fave. If you are a Cross, um, uh, favor if cross is your favor whether cc pere mercy ak adekunle or baye make sure you're going all hard for your fave meanwhile mandy Caro said what happened to pito b will happen to this girl social media crowd now there is this set of people who are coming for a lay in a notoriously way they said she is not gonna win this and what happened to pito b if you if you're not a nigerian of course even if you're not in nigeria i know if you keep up with news you will know who pito b is he's actually the person most nigerian want to be our president you know when i say most nigeria i'm not excluding myself here uh-huh but we do not see him as a president you know and there people like are like the same thing that happened to pito b would happen to buy because people were clamoring for pito b and last last you know nigeria did us dirty and he didn't win. Do you think that will happen to Baye? Anyways, Baye tribe, I believe you guys are equal to the tax, but Sunday will do what will tell. Meanwhile, coming from Fin Nation, somebody who called herself or himself a Fin Nation said, Ile Baye just said Fina always smell like mm, fish, that and that Fina doesn't have her bait when she's on her. Ile Baye is very mm, Spartans, please, we must not let this win the show vote cc aggressively I, i'm actually dropping some words and you know why you know this person actually went to claim to be a fee nation and talk dirty to buy about buy so that people would actually leave voting for buy and then fina replied kukuru kukuk that thing this person is not a fee nation you see fina actually replied with her future so that to not stop any fee nation who is actually voting for buy would stop or because of any reason but if you have been a big fan of the show you would know that from previous season, that is how people go far to a length to make sure that they would camouflage to be someone, some other fan base and they would say some things about one of the um, housemates that is up so that those people would not vote. So I don't think you should dance to that soon. Anyways, coming from Hughes, Arise as you all really spoil this season for most of us. I hate how easily they can manipulate most of you. Ah, and then Mayowa said, Cry Cry is very self-centered. She has shown it several times and that is why she misbehaves the way she does. She thinks everyone is like her. So all those who have cared for her in that house do not care about her. This person actually said this after Adekunle's diary session. I don't know why she carried um, Baye for head like Gala. Anyways, the same Mayawa said, Oh, Mom, Mercy planned this final week well, low. She even has coordinators traveling around via air to oversee voting. If she wins... Even without stopping pools, all true. She worked for it, and that is all that matters. Hmm, okay, Sunday will tell. CC about to become a second time first runner up. Must be nice. At least she maintained her crown, unlike others. Ile Baye, our winner. Hmm, 
Heels is actually not rooting for Baye to win. I think it is kind of mockery. <laughs> it's kind of mockery because Maya Wa already said Mercy went to the very length to make sure that she will win this season and she wouldn't be surprised if she win. I don't even want to know how CC will feel. Imagine being close to winning two times. Ah. Anyways, if, if she's close to winning, better, whether second runner-up or not, the cocoa of the matter is if she's winner or second runner-up, she did well for herself. That is all matters. Which one is how we did feel? I bet we could have the rest too. Anyways, let me digress a little. When that <clears throat> new came out, his fans all went into hiding, but guess who was his, by his side and proudly absorbed the shame from him? Angel was there for him. And Akis took over from there and also told his base to stand by him even more. But guess who they hate now? Now, this is coming from Angel's interview. If you have not watched it, it is sitting pretty on my channel. You go screw down and check one of the videos, you know, where she actually said some things about Cross, you know, and the narrative he plays from viewers' perspective. So, that is where this is coming from. But meanwhile, at the point, I think the way viewers see Angel is from the... I don't know from the person we saw on TV and not because of what Cross said or whatever, you know, because we have seen Angel as this person who came off tough and acts in a funny way. She always pick quarrel easily, even in the house currently with Soma, you see them quarrel over nothing, you know. So I think she just needs to work on herself, and that's what matters. So, guys, whom do you think will be going? Who will be going home with a new car this season? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be dropping my voice right here and now to leave the comment section as usual for you guys. Thank you so much for selling with me, and do not forget, I love you because if I don't love you, waiting again. Bye bye.